You wanted me. Here I am. Poopy Diary here and welcome back for our new tutorial. Oh man, it's been over a month since my last video. You see, I was aura farming, you know what I'm saying? And now, I'm totally back. Stop the cap! Anyways, in this tutorial, you're gonna learn how to auto jump with spacebar. The only thing you can do to make yourself better at the game is to cheat. And I hate cheaters, alright? Bruh. So if you watch this tutorial and you still suck, you're either a mobile player or you should consider playing dress to impress. This game is not for you, I'm sorry. In evade, you can be helped to move faster. You probably know about that, but just in case you don't, this is how you do it. Basically, keep going in zigzags while you're jumping. Kind of like you're drunk. Person just space sucks. You gotta try and time it every time, and at the end, you'll never be able to perfectly time it. So, what most people do is to use scroll wheel as a jump button. That basically spams it so you don't have to worry about timing it. But this also sucks! Yo, check this out. I'm using a controller. I just hold the jump button and it auto jumps. If only there was ways to do this with a keyboard. Oh wait, there is. Keyboard splitter does exactly just that. It simulates Xbox buttons on the keyboard allowing you to use your keyboard as a controller. It does have few glitches that I've noticed but it should work fine most of the time. Because your jumps are perfectly timed you lose less momentum when you jump. Just keep going in circles and eventually you'll be going very fast. Keep in mind that you can only get this fast on really high FPS. But having the ability to auto jump is still really useful on whatever FPS. Actually, you know what? Let me try it. Oh wow, this is dog shit, never mind then. You can go even faster than this by unlocking your frame rate, which you can do by using flags. If you don't know how to, you probably shouldn't. But there will be a tutorial in the description just in case. And of course, you can use an emote and go just as fast. But make sure you don't press control, otherwise your speed is gonna be locked at 55. Here's how you can set up keyboard splitter on your computer. Set the slow count to 1 and make sure block keyboards is off. Now select your keyboard, minus 3, and preferably set the mouse to none. Make a new preset and save it. Now you'll be able to map controller buttons to your keyboard. I'm gonna map the A button which is the jump button to my space bar. Finally, click start and you're done. You should be able to go in game and do this. If you're on mobile, just use a controller. If you don't have a controller, uh, that sucks. You he get 5 big balls. Balls. Now that you can perfectly be up, you are probably wondering. Which is the best perks to use? Well, let's start with the bad ones. Boost pack. Now this thing is a piece of shit all around. It lets you dash every 6 seconds, but the problem is the distance is so minimal and you can't dash vertically. Plus, I think 6 seconds is a long time to wait for such a terrible ability. <laughs> Alright, next up we got treads. Now, this one isn't bad, it makes you swim and walk faster. It's actually kinda useful. The only problem is that the other perks are just way better. The only perks you should be using are stealth, the shoes, and the other shoes. Out of all of these, Hermit shoes is the best option. It's always gonna be faster in almost every situation, so you should always have it equipped. Now it's between stealth and spring shoes. I do prefer stealth, but here's a comparison if you wanna get into more detail.
Using the tricks you learned from this tutorial, you should have no problem flexing your skills to the noobs on public servers. Unless your framerate sucks or you're on mobile, in which case I don't know what to tell you.